Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. It's a rainy, rainy Friday here in Washington, D.C. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And let's see what the cards have for us today. Okay, so looking at the cards here, we've got two major arcanas, which is showing us that there are things that are happening that are spiritual forces or higher forces that are beyond our control, sometimes beyond our understanding, that are taking place in our lives today. Um, I don't really see any conflicts with the card, so we'll jump right in. So starting off with the Hermit. And the Hermit is all about having isolation and needing time to think and really looking within yourself to find that inner light that spiritual light that guides you and helps you to um, make the correct choices and guide your life to the best possible outcome um, a lot of times it has to talk about inflection really going within to determine what's happening with you uh, your motives, your understanding, your reasons for doing things, but also the path that you're supposed to be on. And it is all about going inside to find that right path and doing that through isolation and needing time and space to think about the things that are happening in your life today. Um, the next card is Justice. And Justice is all about truth and being on the right path. So as you're searching for this and you're finding that path within you know that you're on the right path as far as your life goes that in finding this and finding that inner light and letting it guide you it's allowing you to go down that correct path in your life and to discover that truth for your life now truth may not be the same for everybody it's a inner truth a higher truth that's moving through your life that you have to discover within it. Everyone has to discover their own truth in their life. And this is saying that you're on that right path and by going in and looking within, you're on the right path to discovering that truth. And then the third card is the King of Wands. Now, kings are all about knowledge and expression and really outward mastery. So you've mastered the inner and you're moving to the outwardness. So with this process, we have a process of going in within and looking within to find that true path and finding your truth and knowing that you're on the right path and everything. Now we're expressing that and you're living that truth. Um, the kings are all about um, outer mastery and demonstrating what it is that you know and what it is that you've gained mastery over and it's also about governing and ruling your life now the wands are all about um, inspiration uh, desire in the sense that um, not in a lustful desire but in the desire that you want to create something or you want to do something within your life uh, that inspiration that drives you to do anything. That's what the wands are about. And with the king of that, it shows that you've governed that. And it, wands are also about willpower. So in going within and finding that true self and uh, finding your own light and your true self and moving forward, you're able to express that outwardly and not only demonstrate that to others, but to project that will outward to manifest in your life so that you operate from the spiritual source this higher will this higher truth and you allow that to express in your life and you express it in your life so that as you go through your day 
you go through your life, you start to manifest and create the life that you want to have. Like I said, kings are all about outward mastery. So you're looking at mastering the your life through this path of inflection and discovery of the truth and living your life in harmony with that truth and discovering your true will and focusing that true will in your life to um, grow, to prosper, and to have success in your life. So that's what the cards are telling us today. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like my page on Facebook, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow my blog. The links for all of my social media are on the About page on Facebook and in the description below on YouTube. If you would like to book a reading with me, they do start off at $5. You can contact me through Facebook, through YouTube, through my email address at lodgemagician at gmail.com, or you may go to my Facebook business page or my webpage and book a reading through there. Thank you and have a wonderful day.